Well, today is day three of the Necklace a Day Challenge, and this is Necklace 3. I'm kind of just chilling around the house today um, with no real plan, so I'll probably end up playing online or World of Warcraft or something. And um, so I wanted something that was more casual. And this stone I found on a beach, actually the beach that's not too far from me, and I saw it and I immediately knew that I wanted to turn it into a pendant because it's just so beautiful. Stones like this, regular stones you find on the ground, you probably kick aside, are almost never used in jewelry making, which I think is kind of a shame because the, you miss out on the beauty of these more common stones. In jewelry making, people tend to concentrate on gold and silver, precious stones, semi-precious stones, more what society has deemed precious materials, and I think that's kind of a shame because to me, jewelry making is about aesthetics. and, and Nature is the best when it comes to creating beautiful material. And a simple stone like this is going to offer a very unique and wonderful piece. This stone is a white stone, almost like a marble, and it's got tiny flecks of mica in it, so it's got a very slight but eye-catching um, sheen to it almost. And edges on it, almost like you would expect from a quarried marble and in the inside is some gray and blue swirls and splotches that really highlight those edges and, and give this stone such a, a wonderful, you know, a solid appearance. And I wrapped it up in copper. Copper is another underappreciated metal in jewelry making. Again, most people concentrate in gold or silver or platinum or what have you. And so they overlook the warmth that copper offers. And copper has a very long history. It's, it was one of the first metals used uh, by people to create implements and things like that. So it's it got a nice long history and association of superstitions and deities. It's the, it's the metal of Venus. You want love in your life, you wear copper. If you uh, have health issues, wear copper because copper is really good for apparently purifying the blood. Who knew? You can look up superstitions on copper and metals. I do that all the time because I, I find it fun. Um, but this necklace uh, is wrapped up in copper and held on by leather. And it's casual, it's natural, it's just got this great tank top and jeans kind of appearance to it. And it's, it's just a really great... I always say that about my necklaces, and it's just a really great necklace. <laughs> but it's true, it's a really great necklace, and I, I like it a lot. So this is uh, necklace three for day three, and thank you for stopping by.